Hi, Big Tractor Power fans. I'm up in the cab of the Massey Ferguson 4880 four-wheel drive tractor that you just watched pulling the 20-bottom plow at the Half Century of Progress show. This big plow was custom built just for this event to show the capability of four-wheel drive tractors. The plow was built from two 800 International Harvester plows. They built a squadron hitch to team the two 10 bottom plows together, and then it's able to hook up to a four-wheel drive tractor, or in this case, two four-wheel drive tractors to pull it across the field. The Half Century of Progress show is always exciting to attend because you never know what you might see working out in the field demonstration. This custom 20 bottom plow and the pairing of the two four-wheel drive tractors was put together to show the way farmers used to get more horsepower to pull more plow bottoms across the field. Here's an example of an Oliver 880 tractor that is paired with a second Oliver 880. This is something that farmers did in the late 1950s, early 1960s to get more horsepower to get their tillage work done faster. The Oliver 880 was a top-end row crop model from the company, rated at 55 horsepower, and it was built from 1958 through 1963, a time period when four-wheel drive tractors were not common. This way, the farmer was getting over 100 horsepower now to pull the plow faster across the field to get the tillage job done. In the tradition of pairing two tractors together, like we just saw with the Oliver 880 tractors, the Half Century of Progress show paired these two Massey Ferguson articulated four-wheel drive tractors together to pull the massive 20 bottom international plow to show what it would look like if you were using higher horsepower articulated machines to do that same kind of tillage job that farmers used to do back in the late 1950s and early 1960s. The two tractors involved are a Massey Ferguson 5200, which was in the lead position. It's powered by a 14-liter, six-cylinder, 855 cubic inch Cummins engine rated at 390 horsepower. It features a gear transmission with 12 forward and four reverse speeds. The second tractor is the Massey Ferguson 4880, which I'm riding in. It's powered by a Cummins VT903 14.8 liter V8 engine that is 903 cubic inches. The tractor features a partial power shift transmission with 18 forward and 6 reverse speeds. This certainly is not an efficient way to plow. It's not something you're going to see on a farm every day doing tillage work, but it was pretty cool to see and hear out in the field as the combined 710 horsepower Massey Ferguson four-wheel drives got the 20 bottom plow across the field. The big plow was built to be pulled by the Wright Earthquake four-wheel drive tractor, which is powered by a Detroit diesel engine and rated at 850 horsepower. And we'll head out to the field to see the Earthquake pull the 20 bottom plow across the field with ease.
I hope that you've enjoyed spending some time out at the plowing demonstration with this 20 bottom international 800 series plow and the big four-wheel drive tractors pulling it. This is certainly not a plow that you're going to see working out in the fields every day and they're definitely not going to be teaming up two tractors to pull it. But it's always fun just to spend time at this show and see what the show hosts come up with to entertain people. With today's high horsepower tractors, I do think that if moldboard plowing had stayed a main tillage method here in the United States, we probably would be seeing big plows like this international one working out in the field to utilize the big 620 horsepower machines that are on the market. But tillage practice has changed and we're probably not going to be seeing plows like this one. But that's why it's always fun to attend the Half Century of Progress show. If you've enjoyed this video, I hope you'll consider subscribing to Big Tractor Power YouTube where there are over 1,000 videos of farm machines in action. If you have any questions or thoughts about the video, please leave them in the comment section below as I try to respond to every post that is made. If you would like to get a preview of what is coming up next on Big Tractor Power YouTube, make sure to check out Big Tractor Power Instagram where I share pictures and short video clips of what is currently being filmed in the field. As always, thank you for watching. 